Warning, warning, this is Jackie and this is all radios effect in Fimura 11. And this is a male voice effect. Chai voice effect. AI robot. Traditional robot. Female voice. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So today we're going to take a look at all the new features in Fimura 11.4. So I have just upgraded to this latest version and there's some interesting things here. So the first one is the audio, new audio effect that you have just uh, see at the beginning of the tutorial. And now we can also create custom template for our exporter setting. And there's a new, new text editor also. So I'm going to show you all the new feature in this software. And if you want to upgrade to this latest version, all you need to do is to reinstall the software or go to the help tab and check for update. Or maybe you can have a pop-up on, uh, on your software. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so this is my computer screen and this is an example timeline. So first thing is about all the new audio effect they have. So you can go to the effect tab and then you want to find the audio effect here. Uh, normally they just have some effect here, but now it has 12 audio effect. Uh, we have female and diving. You can double click to hear the, the effect, for example here. Hit play on your imagination. Diving. Hit play on your imagination. And AI robot. Hit play on your imagination. Traditional robot. Hit play on your imagination. And also they have all old road radio and try voice and male voice and stuff like that. All you need to do is to drag and drop it to your your audio on the timeline. Okay, for example, this is my first effect. I can just delete this one, delete the effect here. And then if I want to uh, make this, for example, I can mute the, the, the music first. This morning, is my normal. Morning. This is Jackie and this is the old radio. So this is normal one. So I want to use the, audio, uh, the old radio effect. All I need to do is to drag and drop it directly to the audio here. Okay, so this is the effect. Warning, warning, this is Jackie and this is the old radio. Very nice, right? And you can do the same for all other effects. So that is the first new feature in Fimura 11.4. And the next thing is the ability to create a custom template for your export setting. So for example, if we go to the export tab here, uh, let's click the export. And now uh, here you can create some custom template here, okay? For example, if you want to create a custom template for YouTube, for TikTok and Facebook and Instagram Reel, and sometimes you want to create a, a live version of your video or stuff like that, you can reduce the bit rate and you can create a new template. Okay, so it is very interesting. For example, if I want to create a, a template for Facebook, for example, I can click the setting here and then I can change all the things here like codec and resolution and and frame rate and bit rate or stuff like that. For, for example, if for Facebook, I'm going to select 15,000 kbps, for example. And then we can click this button to save this template in our custom folder. Okay, just click here and then we can save, type it, Facebook. And then we can click save. And now we have a Facebook custom template and now we can export this video. By the way, we can just close this one, for example. And next time, if you have a new project and you want to export the video, just click the export. And then you want to select a template right here, Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok, or anything you want. For example, I can just click here for YouTube, and then I can export the video. It is very easy and interesting. Okay, so that is the second new feature in Fimura 11.4. And the last one, I think this is the last one, but I see at the notification from Wondershare, there's a, an option to export a part of the video clip or the timeline or export a part of the timeline. But to be honest, I haven't figured out how to export a part of the timeline with a new feature yet. So maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will make a new tutorial for you on how to export a part of the timeline in Fimura 11.4. Okay, so the last new feature is the new text editor. For example, let's write and drop one title box on the timeline. Oh, and this you. is the title. And if we want to adjust this title, all we need to do is to double click at the title box. And now we can change the text here, for example, funny dance, uh, funny dance. Normally when we click this advanced 
button, we can go to the advanced text editor where we can change the, the text border and shadow and stuff like that. But now they add something here. So let's click here at the advanced button. Just click here. And the first thing you can see that we can add different color to our text. So, okay, so let's scroll down here at the customize tab. And now at the color field, we can add more color. For example, this is a, a white color for our, our, our text and we can add more. And then we can click this color button to change it. For example, change it to this one. And we can also add more and then we can just add more color to our text. So it's interesting, right? And we can also adjust the opacity and blur of the, the color or of the text here, right here. And about the, the outline, it is similar to your border. So now they replace the border effect with the outline effect. But uh, it is very interesting because we can add more than one outline to the text. If we check the box and then we have an outline for our text and we can change the color here. For example, we can change the color to yellow, for example. And then if we want to add more outline, we can just add another one by this button. And now if we have more outline here and then we can change the color again. For example, I can change this one and increase the thickness. So we have multiple outline or multiple border to our text. So I think it's interesting and funny. And we can have more shadow also. The first shadow and then we want to add more shadow. And we can change the shadow type, for example, to shadow. <laughs> I have no idea why we, we have so, so, so many funny things about the text like this. <laughs> Okay, so let's click OK. All right, so that is all the new feature of Fimura 11.4. So hopefully this video is helpful for you. And if you want to upgrade to this latest version, just go ahead to the link in the description to download it and reinstall the software. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.